Yo, what is up, my dudes? We're back at it again with another video. And if you haven't seen from the title, we hit a thousand subs, bro. Thank you all for that. I appreciate that so much. Support me in this journey, making this channel, getting the shop to where it needs to be. I appreciate y'all so fucking much for that. With the thousand subscriber mark, I'm gonna start to unveil some big news for the CRX. I got big plans for it, and I'll let y'all know about those today. I'm gonna fill you guys in on the CRX in case some of you don't know about the CRX. So, this is my 1990 Honda CRX SI. Um, currently, it has a B17A1 from a DA uh, GSR. I basically found the swap for 600 bucks. Um, engine, trans, T bracket, axle, shift linkage, harness, ECU. I found everything for, well, he's, we wanted 800. I was like, 600, I'll come get it today, like right now. He said, bet. So I went and picked it up. I was told it sat for four years. Brought it home. This is when the channel started to blow up, when I first started with this. Tore it apart, tore the trans apart, built it. Um, it's not built, it's got OEM parts in it. The only thing aftermarket in the engine is the head. Uh, I mean, is the camshafts and the valve springs. So currently, this motor is comprised of, it's a stock rod GSR. I have B16 PR3 pistons. I ordered P30s and the Chinese people that I ordered it from on eBay said they were the P30s and it clearly says PR3 on it. Whatever. It's about 1101 compression. Um, it has a Skunk 2 Ultra Street Manifold with a 70 millimeter throttle body. Snake Eater Performance 1000 cc injectors. In the head, I have Supertech valve springs, Ferreira flat face valves, and Pro 2 cams degreed by me. Um, it has an ACL race oil pump. Stock port. I did have a different header on it, but that broke. If you guys seen the videos, that shit broke. And in the transmission, we've got a Quafe LSD, Synchrotech carbon fiber synchros, and a speed factory shift selector mechanism. That thing made this thing feel so good between gears. Like, it just feels so sharp. It also has the detent springs. It's a complete GSR with matching YS1 GSR transmission. Now, when I first put it together, it had the CTR cams in with a stock B17 intake manifold with an ITR throttle body, port, it, port matched. We made 168, 168 horsepower and like 125 foot-pounds of torque or something like that. Um, the manifold was really holding us back. So I picked up this Ultra Street with a 70 mil throttle body. Thanks to my boy Yarel from Unique. And uh, with just the manifold change with the throttle body, we picked up 10 horsepower and two or three foot-pounds of torque. So with the CTR cams, the, when I tuned this car, it made 178 to the wheel and 129 foot-pounds of torque. And I was like, man, we got to do something else to it. So I bought Skunk 2 Pro 2 camshafts, put them in, degreed them, took it to the dyno. It was a hot day. But obviously, the motor did not have enough displacement or compression for these camshafts. We did make more power, but we made less torque. So with these Pro 2 camshafts, we picked up 10 horsepower to the, to the wheel, but we lost uh, 10 foot-pounds of torque. So we made 188 from up from 178. And we lost 10 foot pounds of torque. We made 119 foot pounds of torque down from 129. So, uh, give and take. Uh, these cams, man, I, I really love them. The, the limiter was set to 9800. It is a stock bottom end, so that's kind of pushing it for a stock bottom end, stock rod, um, stock rod bolt. But I mean, we send it around here, and it's been holding up. Um, this thing has seen multiple passes. It's seen multiple. 10,000 RPM fucking flat foot shifts. So I, <laughs> it's, it stood the abuse, man. It really did. The transmission, however, did not really like those high RPM shifts. I have a second gear issue at the moment, which I will be solving when we pull the motor to do what we're gonna talk about right now. So I love this car. I really wanna start tracking it. By tracking it, I, I mean not drag strip stuff. I'm talking about like circuit track autocross you know get it dig into the corners that's that's where i come from when i first got my previous crx my first crx 
Uh, you couldn't catch me uh, on on a straight road. Like I I was in the corners all the time. Like where I'm at right now, I used to ride these roads all the time. Fucking do some stuff I, I really shouldn't have been doing, but it was it was so much fun. So back to that, I really want to get the car able to be tracked. Um, and honestly, I I could turbo it, but being a stock motor, I really don't want to push the motor too hard and being on a track it's gonna you know a lot of heat blah 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 um i did previously when i built the motor gap the rings between all motor settings and boost settings so it, they are a little bit looser on the ring gap so that because i did have plans to boost the motor um and it comes out that time guys we are boosting it but we're going to be doing something different we are not turboing it you seen from the title craft works supercharger bro we are supercharging the CRX, man. Woo! This thing's gonna sound crazy. Big shout out to White Boy Build on Instagram. He has a clean CRX with a K series. Uh, used to be H to B. He sold me the kit. I picked it up about a year ago, maybe two years ago, year and a half. I've had it for a long time. Yeah, I'm stoked. But big shout out to you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate that deal. Getting it to me super quick. No hassle. It was great. But man, these the uh, Kraftwerk Supercharge, this thing, I I really hope it fits. So I know I'm probably gonna have to change the header because of way the way the Kraftwerk's kit bolts up. I might not have enough room here for an intake pipe. If it does fit, I am gonna have to remove the T bracket and run hood pins for the for the simple fact that uh, we are almost touching here. The other header cracked that I had on it previously, if you've guys seen the previous videos, and I had to install this one to get the car here. The exhaust is not on it. I drove this car here when I first got the shop, open header in like middle of the night. Um, but it is a 1320 Ram horn stone manifold. Um, I really like this manifold, so I hopefully uh, we can run it. Well, I guess we'll see whenever we uh, install this supercharger kit on here, man. I hope y'all are excited like I am. I've been waiting for so long to unveil this. And I'm just I'm just super fucking stoked. Um, you can see it's on the steely steel. I still have the wheels. I just winter mode. I didn't want them to create a flat spot because those tires. Um, got some blood on it still. And this car needs washed. That's blood from uh, when I cut my cut my knuckle with the angle grinder. Um, it needs cleaned inside and out, man. Um, it's been just sitting in here. I drove it a few times around the lot, down the street, but. You know, it's not road legal right now, so I, I wasn't trying to get too far away from the shop. We are we are switching from Neptune to S300. I got my S300 back from Frito. He was borrowing it in his red hatch until he got his own. Um, and we're going to be doing some crazy modifications to this thing. So we are going to be putting on the Kraftwerk Supercharger. We um, I have a Speed Factory Mega Fuel Rail for this thing. And I'm going to be getting all new fuel lines away with this fucking shit here and we're going to 8 a.m feed and return fuel lines with a, with a 450 pump um i have i still have to get the fuel lines yet and we're um once and honestly we're not starting this for a few months once carlos's car is done and it's driving we're gonna get my brother's accord in here and um get this f20b together and get that thing in his car so he can drive that thing on the street um his car has been down for a while, so we got to get that thing together for him. And as soon as that car is finished, we're going to be get, getting with the CRX. Um, I'm super excited. I'm going to try and relocate the battery. <sighs> Making the boost pipes is going to be so much fun for this thing, bro. Um, yeah, I'm just super fucking excited. I'm going to pull out the kit right now, show you everything that comes with. And we can take a look at this, this Kraftwerk Supercharger, guys. Sheesh! So this style, it's a Kraftworks kit, but it is a Rotrex supercharger. It is a C3094. Yep, C3094. Um, dude, I am super fucking excited. We have the oil cooler. We have the oil cooler tank. It comes with a blow off valve. Um, comes with the connector tube to have an air intake. I think I might make an aluminum one though, because I really would just depends on really how that how that header works with this um 
not sure what all this stuff is but we will figure it out when we open this kit to try and install it we have the bracket and everything to mount the uh supercharger the belts in there um bracket supercharger belt we got the fucking tensioner um and different pulleys go on the supercharger as well um i think this kit is rated for a hundred thousand rpm which can be anywhere into in between i think anywhere in between like nine and 14 pounds of boost so we aren't going to be running i know i said i had the pro 2 cams in here we're not going to be running these camshafts I am going to be installing my CTR camshafts back into this motor. So it'll be um, 11 to one CTR camshafts, springs, valves, full bolt-ons basically, and then the craft source kit. I am going to be going to a flex fuel setup with the S300. Um, hopefully on pump I can make 300 and hopefully on E, pushing it, I wanna be above 350. If I'm making like 360 to 370, I'd be ecstatic. If I make close to 350, I'm going to be fucking happy as well. Because this thing, this thing is going to be a fucking monster, bro. It's going to be an animal, dude. And I'm just super excited to get this thing going. It's toy. It's brand new. Never installed, never used. I got big plans, man. I I'm super excited. I'm glad I get to share this with you guys. I've been waiting so long to try and get this video out. A thousand subscriber mark was definitely it, though. Um, I, I, I want to get this thing started ASAP. So I'm gonna we have to get finished with Carlos' car, get it running. As soon as it's running and the exhaust is on it, he can drive it and uh, break it in. We're going to get started on my brother's Accord. As soon as my brother's Accord is done, hopefully that doesn't take a long time because... Um, I am going to rebuild the motor. It's been sitting outside for a little bit. So there's a little bit of surface rust on the walls. I'm going to rebuild that. Um, that motor actually came with a QSD F to B H to B kit, um, and came with the axles for it too. So, uh, I'm going to pull that off of there, the plate and the mount. I might have that up for sale. I may just keep it for something later down the road. You never know. Um, but we will have to rebuild that, get that thing together. It's going to just be OEM spec. And then um, later down the road, I might open the ring gap a little bit later down the road because I did tell my brother uh, I was going to boost his car for him. Um, maybe throw on a small turbo or somewhat big turbo, run some low boost, make like 300. Now, he doesn't drive his car hard at all. It's kind of sad because I wish he would have some fun in it. But, um, you know, he doesn't really drive his car hard that much. He would much more enjoy just in you know having the car driving it hearing the noises stepping on it every once in a while but you know not like me not like you not like carlos <laughs> we drive our cars but yeah my brother enjoys cars so we're gonna get the we're gonna get this f to b or this f20b um together it is an automatic so as soon as that's together as soon as that's in my brother's car as soon as my brother's car is drivable because we have to tune that thing as well we're gonna get slamming on this CRX, bro. I am fucking stoked. So we're gonna have to relocate the battery. Uh, I'll I I'm gonna see if I can maybe move the he the radiator back where it was factory. If not, like if I if I were to not be able to fit it, if I can't run this header, I might decide to run an RMF header. If you know anything about the RMF headers, they like come like this, come straight down here, and then they have way more room over here. So it's all contemplation. It's all in the air, but dude, I'm stoked. I hope you guys are excited like I am. This thing is going to be fucking madness, bro. Uh, one thing you can't do with these superchargers, you can't beat them off the limiter. You can't be on two step. You can't really shock them extremely hard. So like, if you're spinning, shift. You don't just sit on it like you do with a uh, with a turbo car or something. These have very small gears in them and they're very at a very uh, low or high ratio because that impeller will spin at a thousand, oh, 100,000 RPM. So you can you can just imagine what that shock would do to a, a gear spinning at 100,000 RPM. Now, I, do, I have seen people supercharge their car and smack the bitches off the limiter and it, they, they live. But, you know, 
every once in a while, but nothing crazy. We're not just going to be sitting on it. Yeah, da, 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 da. None of that. None of that. I'm going to set it up for track driving, man. I really want to get into the corners and fucking eat and heel toe and just feel the G's through the corner. That's why I got these tires, man. I want to I put them to work. They, they've got all the tread that they came with on them still. <laughs> so we need to get to, we need to get to work in them. As soon as it's um, supercharged, uh, it'll probably be like that for a while. Now this car will see many versions and uh, most likely we'll have some other different type of motor in, in the future. But while we can enjoy it, we will. This B17 has been magical so far. It's just taken all the abuse I could throw at it. Um, it hasn't complained, hasn't hiccuped. I had one issue and that was because I didn't retention the timing belt and um, it ate it basically. But I didn't bend anything. I didn't cause any issues to the motor internally. Um, Soon as it is supercharged though, and soon as it is driving and you know I can enjoy it, we are gonna try and get cracking on some body work. Um, I know a lot of people have been flaming me about the car because it doesn't, it's not the cleanest, but I mean, who gives a fuck? If it's fun, it's fun, you know? Um, but yeah, so you can see some rust. We got some rust in the back. We're gonna have to try and, try and get a rear quarter panel for this because there is some rust here in the gas tank uh fill um right here so i don't know if this actually feeds into this piece but i know that down here it is a little bit i don't really want to fuck it up too much but this has been touched before so um this there's bondo here but this seems like it's metal just been going over a little bit and this is fairly clean until we get to back here so like there's not very, I don't think there's any rust up here. There's no rust here. It's gonna be a good bit of work, but like there's small sections. This, this, um, the rear bumper support. Fuck that, that's gone. That's fucking eight. Um, we got small rust here and I need some clips for this so you can see that. Um, you know, small stuff. Just this lip here, everything back onto this section is good. This has been touched too on this side, but most of this feels, it feels solid. It feels like it's actual metal. So yeah, as soon as it's supercharged, man, we're gonna try and get working on some body work and get this thing kind of clean, somewhat clean. Um, the interior, it's a mess right now. So don't judge me. Uh, I had to pull some stuff out of it and I was diagnosing my ECU issue. That's why it's kind of a mess, but my steering wheel, I'm gonna have to get a different one. Uh, something cool, quick release maybe, but um, the screw that holds the horn, my battery's dying right now, so it's not, it's not very uh, loud. But the screw that holds the uh, steering wheel plate, like even like that on the bottom, fell out one day. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? I guess too, too high RPM, it just said bye and just left. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna get a different wheel. This one is still in good shape. I mean, there's no cracks. It's a little smooth, but I mean, it's a stock wheel and it's beautiful. It's still in shape, in good shape. Everything still works in the car. Sunroof works. Shout out to um, Young Static for that sunroof switch. He sent me that a few years ago. It's been working perfectly. Yep, got our stickers as well for crafts work, man. I'm just, this thing. Uh. Bro, I cannot wait, dog. I cannot wait. I hopefully, hopefully it makes the power that I wanted to make, and uh, hopefully it drives really well. Cause I'm, I'm super excited to get this thing going. But yeah, guys, that's basically the wrap up for this. Thank you for a thousand subs, man. Let's keep this thing going. I'm trying to, you know, get some shit rolling. You feel me? You're gonna be having a lot more shit coming through the door. Like I said, we got Carlos's car to finish. We got my brother's Accord. We got to make the exhaust for this. We got drift knuckles and an uh, LSD coming as well. Um, another Viterra build that's going to be going together soon. We got we got shit coming, man. We finished uh, my other buddy Carlos's car, La Adicta, and that thing came out beautiful, guys. Came out so good. So I appreciate you guys. Stay tuned, my dudes. We got some shit coming. I'm super excited. And I, I just, man, this thing, it's going to be an animal. So that's all for this one, guys. Hope to catch you on the next one. Stay tuned, guys. Deuces.